everybody. I realized it had been absolutely ages since I'd done a Q&A video, so I've just put a little thing on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you should, because why not? Do it. Come here. Hi. Hey, do you want to hang out? Yeah. So I put a little thing on Instagram and I would try and provide some A's to your Q's. But definitely more than I'm going to be able to answer in this time, but I will do my level best. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, you guys have really come through. Price delivery. Are you going to do a video on your personal views and stuff at some point? Like, on what? Personal views on what? In general, because it's the internet, I try to keep my personal opinions about things to myself because there's always going to be someone who is going to disagree with whatever you say, so... Nope. <laughs> the Danny Faith. Can you adopt me and teach me your ways in self-confidence? As I've said before, it's not confidence, it's apathy. Once you really learn to not care about what other people think about you, then that is sort of perceived from the outside as confidence. Pazuzu Forsberg, first goth music memory. Pretty sure it was Susie who was the first of that particular kind of music that I heard a long time ago. Passionately Pale, do you plan on doing an updated jewellery video? Yes I do, I will eventually do that. Head Vampire 1987, what's your favourite makeup brand if you had to choose? I feel like there are several brands that are particularly good at like one thing. <laughs> so for example my favourite brand for eyeshadow is definitely Sugar Pill. Uh, I think my favourite brand for pretty much everything though has got to be Kat Von D. I love NYX but Kat Von D is kind of like a step up. Genie 16, what's your favourite band of all time? Rammstein. I am not afraid to admit it. I know they're not a goth band, but I figure Rammstein has to be my favourite band because I can just listen to it again and again and again and never get sick of it and just love it as much every time. So, yeah, I think that's my all-time favourite. Fluffy the Metalhead, would you do a meet and greet here in Los Angeles? Ah, uh, hopefully someday. I have every intention of going back to the United States, and I actually want to like do like a big trip there one time, like just to actually visit the whole country and uh, spend a bit of time in, in each place but i don't know when that's gonna happen <laughs> blink nails how long does it take to get dressed with makeup and hair uh, about an hour and a half how do i say this mace holstein 17 you say that you've had some scary experiences with crazy christians telling you you're going to hell what was your scariest experience with someone taking preaching a little too far probably the least pleasant one that leaps to mind was when i was on a bus because i couldn't escape because it was on a bus and there were these two mormons who were just hammering me about my satan worshiping ways i don't think any of them have been really scary i'd say they're just mostly funny <laughs> really you can't believe what's actually happening at the time or that someone is actually saying these words to you. You of you are sort of asking what's my New Year's resolution and my goals for 2018. My primary goal for this year is to finish a writing project, just like one writing project. None of you have really known me longer than four years, that's how long I've been doing YouTube for. Um, but before that, all I ever did was writing. Like that was my that was my thing that everybody knew me for in all my free time while I was at work on breaks. In the days before I was doing YouTube, I was just writing all the time. I was working on three books, like a trilogy, <laughs> and I finished the first one. I made like a kind of vague attempt at getting it published, but then I sort of uh, read through it again and was like, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna redo the whole thing. I'm gonna make some sort of big changes to it. And that was like seven years ago. <laughs> and I've been kind of meaning to redo it ever since. I've always just sort of found myself too busy. You know, and I also had this like sh smaller book, like a novella or whatever on the go, which I actually like better. Uh, and anyway, in the last couple of months, I've sort of rediscovered those and started doing them. So I'm like, you know what? This is this is the fucking year that I finish one of those. <laughs> whether it's get, get whether it gets published or whether people end up actually reading them, I don't know. I don't care. The point, the goal is just to finish one. Even if I don't finish one of the novels, I'm going to finish a screenplay. I'm going to finish a writing project this year. <laughs> God damn it! Cupcakes and killers. Are you planning to stay in Germany? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't really feel like I want to stay here forever. Um, and so I have been given kind of a little bit of thought to what, what I should do next. You know, like, do I want to stay here? Do I want to go somewhere else? I really don't know um, exactly what's going to happen. So watch this space, I suppose. What are your passions? Well, okay, so my primary passions, like I just said, writing, um, screenwriting primarily. Like, that's why I went to film school. I did a screenwriting masterclass. I, I want to right? And I want to make films. Stories are my passion. That's my passion. Stories. There we go. Stories and presenting them in a nice artistic way is my passion. How about that? Galactic Crustacean. What's your favorite book author? What book do you like most by them? Uh, that's difficult. I, I think the, the person I've probably read the most of and probably my absolute favorite author would be P.G. Woodhouse. It's just wonderful and there's so much of it which is great. I don't think I have a favorite book from him. I haven't actually found one that I don't like. P.G. Woodhouse, if you've never read anything from him you are seriously missing out. Petite Del Rosa. What do you want your tombstone to say? I would want my tombstone to say something kind of, 
unsettling. <laughs> Something that people look at and they're like, ooh. ooh. And uh, it also have to look really beautiful. It would have to be, you know, if it's not some kind of giant mausoleum, some sort of great big crypt or something, like it, like its own little building, you know, it should at least be very beautiful, something that goths will want to pose on one day. Mad Joey, how, th how are things going in your personal life? Do you feel like dating again or taking a break? I don't know. I think as far as my personal life goes, my mental health's taken a pretty weird turn in the last few weeks, which is not very fucking nice so just trying to try and get through that really definitely not going to be dating <laughs> i definitely don't want to date no the real sarah's what is your dream place to go on a date dream place to go on a date that's really hard because i mean there are so many wonderful places out there i'd say it would have to be something kind of stupid just like the beach at night somewhere in the summer at night time and it wouldn't really matter as long as i was there with someone i loved weirdo selena says do you sleep with your makeup on sometimes or do you make a point to take it off when you go to bed uh i almost always sleep with my makeup on which is uh, something i should probably be ashamed of but uh, two reasons. Um, one, I'm just lazy and I will usually wash it off in the morning and do all my skincare shit in the morning. Two, you know, what if I die in my sleep? I know that's a little bit morbid, but you know, I want to at least have my makeup on. Ash Vic, if you could wear another colour for a day besides black, what would it be? It would be blood red. I like that colour. Goth Basura, however I pronounce that. Um, will you ever make a tutorial on how to untangle teased hair? Yes, I will. I definitely will. I promise. I know. I know. I've been saying for ages that I'm going to do it ages um <laughs> i will i will eventually do it i just keep seeming to never get around to it or when it comes time to detangle my hair i'll just think no my hair looks too bad i can't possibly put this on a video i can't inflict that on others so i will totally do that because it's it's something i've been meaning to do for ages and it's something very very useful dark side of sally what are your future travel destinations for 2018 i hope belgium is on your list come say hi <laughs> i'd love to visit belgium i don't know when but i would you know it's on my to go to list I'd, i would love to visit belgium i want to go to more places around Around Europe. All I know is that I'm going to Ireland. I've made a plan to go to Ireland in the next few weeks, really, at some kind of soonish point. Yeah, so I'm planning to go to Ireland and also a more around Austria. I want to go to Vienna. I'd like to go to Sweden, but I don't know when that's going to happen. This year, I'm also, well, I'm going to hopefully start the process soon of trying to make it, like, get a visa or something so that I'm allowed to visit the fucking UK. So fingers crossed there, if you could all be so good as to pray to whatever god it is you pray to that I will be allowed to visit the UK, that would be super. <laughs> Lots of questions about whether I'm going to stay in Germany or move back to New Zealand. Yeah, I, I really, I really don't know. I've been giving it a lot of thought lately and uh, I don't know. I feel like my head's not really in a good enough place to make any kind of solid decisions at the moment. Like I said, probably not going to stay here forever. I don't know how much longer, but... I, I just I just need to know what my options are and what I can do and just yeah I don't know basically get my life together I want to, I want something kind of solid you know like I want to be somewhere and then just somewhere nice and stay there for like a long long time I want a life <laughs> you know pretty little scar do you prefer a cozy afternoon or night at home with some food drinks and music or going to a big party with a lot of people I like both of those things but I think if I'm I'm at home with food and drinks and also like a, a small group of friends, I think that's quite a lot more satisfying. I think there's something so much more enjoyable about being in like a small group of people that you really like, that you really love to spend time with. I feel like that's a bit more, that's sort of better for the spirit than going to a party and drinking and dancing and stuff. Which Tannic, what are your go-to activities or forms for self-care that help pull you out of a bad mood? Well, it might seem kind of obvious, but if I'm feeling sad, um, like what you really want to do is like, you know, listen to sad music and think about other things that reflect your mood. But what I do is I'll, you know, I'll do stuff that I know will make me laugh. So I like to watch comedy or I'll put on some like fast music. Um, some sort of like fast positive music. Watching comedy is really good. And uh, also going for walks. Going for walks are really good for refreshing the mind. Ashlyn McKenzie, do you want kids? Do you want them in your near or distant future? Uh, yeah, I do. Maybe just like one or two, but you know, I have no idea when that's gonna happen and it probably shouldn't, probably shouldn't be too far into the future or I will eventually get too old, you know? Nicole Diary, do you have any respect or do you listen to classical music? I do listen to classical music quite a lot actually. My favourites would be Bach, Brahms, Vivaldi and Tchaikovsky. These are probably the ones I listen to the most. Actually I had no idea that Bach is buried in this city and the other day I was out for a walk with a friend and we went into this church and uh, yeah she showed me that like there's Bach's grave right there. That's that's so fucking cool, it's amazing. How do I pronounce this word Gortita? I'm sorry I don't know how to say, say your username. What time era aesthetics do you like the most? Um, definitely sort of 18th century most particularly sort of the mid to late 18th century as well as the 19th century that kind of 
aesthetics I'm pretty into. 17th century, not bad, but particularly the 18th and 19th, I think are just beautiful. And it's very sad that we don't make things now the way we did then. Here's a Violet 13. Do you have a favourite drag queen? Sharon Needles, totally. I'm not hugely knowledgeable on all the famous drag queens, but I, I do love Sharon Needles. Next, Terry, how do you deal with anxiety? With drugs. <laughs> um, my anxiety is such that, you know, just things like meditating and going for walks and drinking herbal tea is not going to fix it. Uh, the only thing for me is medication <laughs> but when it comes to like actual anxiety attacks I'm thinking about making a video for that because I do know some pretty effective techniques for you know sort of making them stop and uh, or stopping them from coming all together if anyone would be interested in maybe some sort of anxiety disorder related video like how to kind of deal with it just go ahead and say so and you know maybe I can help you out and we can all help each other out ice cream satan completely irrelevant but what do you think of chickens I think they're very cute and they taste great deep fried. Kate Taehyung, will you make more paranormal videos like you used to? Hope you're feeling better. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I would really like to. One thing I would like to do, because I've kind of... I feel like there was one more video that I was going to do that I never got around to. I've sort of forgotten what it was now. But um, what I was thinking of doing is exploring some haunted places. I've probably told you almost all my spooky stories, but I feel like it's really time to make some new ones, you know? So I need to do a bit of exploring of some haunted places. Moon Envy, do you support trans and non-binary people? Absolutely, of course I do. Which soul, if you had a time travel machine, what year and place would you visit and why? Love you. With the entirety of space and time to choose from. This is going to sound stupid, but I feel like I would probably go to Scotland around the time of the Jacobite Rebellion, and I can't explain why, but I've always felt kind of weirdly attracted to that particular time and that event. Don't know, maybe it's a past life thing, I don't know, but I, I would totally go back for that. Emma Gem 23 can you tell us more about your birds and are there any other pets you'd like? Lots of love. Well when you hear my birds in the background of videos that I'm doing in the kitchen or whatever there are two of them. They are two white budgies and they're called Jupiter and Juno and they're very cute. They're very small actually for budgies. That's Jupiter and Juno every time you hear all that chirping in the background. Uh, oh yes and other pets. I would like to get another kitten. <laughs> I want to get another cat. Cynical Tuba I'd like to know about the book you worked on if you're willing to talk about it. Oh yeah well I was just kind of talking about that then. What genre was it? Weirdly the book that like the big book so there's okay so there's like there's the trilogy <laughs> there's the, the, the the three big books and then there's like the small book which is completely different. The big books are fantasy they're not like that fantastic but they are they're fantasy books like historical fantasy fiction and which is weird because I don't really read fantasy books. It's very fun to write because you can you have all this kind of freedom uh, because it's a fantasy world. The other one is very silly it's also a historical thing but it's set in the 1800s. Specifically it's set in like 1890 England and it's extremely silly. If you ever get to read it you'll you'll see what I mean. <laughs> but I, the characters that are in it are some of my favourite characters I've ever come up with. 